Okay, here I am at St. Andrews State Park. Uh, I just wanted to come down and check out the, uh, the damage that uh, may have been caused by the hurricane. Okay, here you can see where all those uh, tables are sitting. There used to be uh, a covered uh, awning over that, wooden and metal uh, roofing over that. That hurricane took that out. Over there, the second slab and the third slab, they all used to have a uh, wooden structure with metal roofing over it, uh, covering it for shade, but it's all gone. There you can see the uh, bathhouses seem to have made it through uh, with no damage. That pavilion over there used to have again a covered roof on that it took that off the tides way up this morning that uh, one jetty out there that you can just barely see right there and it usually goes all the way out is all underwater so the tide is way in not much beach this morning a lot of fishermen out there here you can see the uh, red flags are flying which uh, if you read the sign there waters close to the public high hazard so uh, but the uh, if you've seen my other videos you've seen this uh, beach a lot bigger the tide is way in this morning yeah right there you again showing how far up the tide is this morning real high I don't know if that's uh, Something unusual or just this happens to be high tide. But with the uh, flags flying, I'd say it's a little bit unusual. Over there you can see Shell Island. And uh, Hurricane has taken away a little bit of the sand. Looks like they put more rocks and more jetties on that side. But the, uh, there's a lot more sand over there that didn't, it wasn't there before. So. I guess the hurricane has changed that landscape a little bit. Okay, here I am at St. Andrews State Park. As I was coming in, I noticed the uh, campground was uh, closed off. And as I was parked here filming the uh, pavilions and stuff, a ranger came by. So I stopped him and asked him, and says, why is the uh, campground closed down? Did the hurricane destroy it? And he said, oh yeah, very much so. He said that uh, the winds here in Panama City and Panama City Beach were a lot stronger than was reported on the news. He said all they want to talk about on the news is how strong uh, Katrina was when it hit New Orleans, but the winds here were much stronger than that. He said they were saying it was only a Category 4 when it hit, but I'm sure it was a Category 5. He said, in fact, the uh, wind meter that uh, measures the wind velocity was actually ripped off the pole and tossed out into the bushes someplace. And when they finally found it, it was broke, of course, and uh, they couldn't tell how high the winds actually got. And in uh, Panama City, and Panama City Beach, uh, there's a lot of uh, buildings that are, you know, kind of destroyed. The roofs ripped off, roads ripped up, things like that. In fact, in the park here, not only is the campground closed, but there's a lot of trees that were uh, uh, blown over, broken off, bent over, that sort of thing. It's uh, changed the landscape considerably in the park here, in uh, and along with the uh, pavilions I showed you earlier being uh, blown away. The boat ramp, of course, was uh, they'd had it 
partially cleared up and on the uh, parking ramp for the boat ramp there's uh, you can see a lot of debris where they had pulled it up and moved it over and stuff like that and they're fixing it up but anyway the winds here were a lot stronger than reported and uh, of course the hurricane came ashore in Mexico Beach which is about 15 miles uh, east of us here and and that's where the eye I guess came over and it destroyed a lot of stuff over there but uh, it destroyed a lot of stuff here in uh, Panama City and Panama City Beach which they really haven't talked about on the news or didn't talk about on the news all right until later fill out